Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Jenkins and Docker, and namely how to run your Jenkins build in a Docker container with a Jenkins file. I have just installed Git, Java, and Jenkins on a fresh Ubuntu 20 instance. If you don't believe me, I can do Java version, Git dash dash version. And of course you can see here that I've got Jenkins running, so you know that those tools are installed. But one thing I don't have is Docker, and I wanna do some Docker Jenkins integration on Ubuntu 20. So how do you do it? Well, it's probably no surprise that the first thing you need to do is actually install Docker. So I'll do a little sudo apt install docker.io, put in my password because I did do sudo, say yes that I want this installed and very quickly docker will get installed on my Ubuntu 20 instance. Now it looks like docker has been installed can we verify that ask docker for its version when well, we got 1903 that's not a bad build to have. Now here's a big problem. Uh, docker and Jenkins don't want to work together. Notice if you grep Docker in the uh, Docker group file, you notice that, well, Docker's referenced, but Jenkins is not. So if you end up having Jenkins try and call Docker, you're going to have some problems. Now we can update that. All we have to do is a little user mod. So I'll throw in my sudo writes there, say user mod dash a dash g. I think you can just do dash a uppercase g Docker Jenkins, and then say, hey, are these two playing together in the group policy now? And you can see that they are. Right? Docker Jenkins as opposed to no Jenkins above. And now I'll actually be able to run some of my Docker Jenkins integration calls without a problem. There is one problem actually. I have to uh, do a reboot in order for those user rights to be assigned. So after installing Docker, do the sudo user mod and then do a reboot. And then start integrating docker and jenkins okay so here we are back again log back in and we're ready to go and tackle a little bit of docker inside of jenkins now jenkins is intended to load on startup so let's open up the browser see if we can find jenkins it may ask us to log in again that's a good sign that means it really did shut down and start up again and i want to do a jenkins build now before I do a Jenkins build, I actually have to click on the Jenkins head, go into Manage Jenkins, and then add a couple of plugins. There's a couple of tricks for adding plugins. First of all, don't look for plugins and updates. People always come in here and type in Docker, and then they go, hey, I can't find Docker. Well, because this is for updates for things that are already installed. If you actually want to install something, you have to click on that available tab and look for Docker. And you'll find plenty when it comes to Docker pipeline, Docker API. Now, one problem I often have is if SSL isn't configured correctly, you can have a problem connecting to the update site. So I always disable SSL and just disable it by removing the S in HTTPS. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem right now, but it does avoid the problem. I don't think it's a big security risk. Uh, and so I go to the available tab and I look for Docker. There's two Docker elements I wanna install. I wanna install the Docker pipeline and also the basic Docker plugin as well. There's an option to download and install after a restart, but Docker doesn't require that. So I'm just gonna go in and install uh, those two plugins. Okay, those plugins are installed. I'm gonna click back on the Jenkins head. And now I'm gonna create a new Jenkins pipeline that uses Docker. Now, I'm gonna use a project I've already created. You can see over here on github.com, I've got a repository called Rock, Paper, Scissors, and it's got a bunch of files in it. There's some source code. If you dig down, you can find some Java in there and all sorts of neat, fantastic stuff. You'll also notice this Jenkins file, and this Jenkins file instructs Jenkins on how to build a resource. Now, this particular pro project uses Maven, and I don't have Maven installed locally. Look, if I go maven dash dash version, you can see that the maven command is not recognized in my local machine. But what I want to do is I want to use Docker 
to run my Maven commands. And so I'm going to call Maven version and Maven clean install to build this Java application. I don't have Maven installed locally, but if I use this container that has Maven packaged inside of it, all of these commands will run. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, first of all, I need a link to this repository. Obviously, Jenkins can't compile code unless it can find it. So I copy that link. And we also know that this repository has this special file in it named Jenkins file, pronounced with an uppercase J, as you can tell. And I will point Jenkins to this file. Actually, Jenkins will already know to go to that file. Um, I'll do that inside of a build pipeline, and it should then use it should then use Docker to build my project. And so here's how you do it. You create a new item. This is, creates a new build job, and I'll call this Docker Jenkins Git integration because we're just going to uh, test that out. So Docker Jenkins Git integration test, and it's going to be a pipeline. So I'll click on the little Super Mario <laughs> pipe there, click OK, and then you can see this link for pipelines at the top. If you're real crazy, you can scroll all the way down. I'm just going to click on that link to get me to it. I can paste the pipeline in, but I'm going to pull it from a source code management tool. One of the reasons why I'm doing it from a source code management tool is because it'll prove that Git is working. If Git isn't working, I won't be able to connect to it. It is, of course, Git that I'm going to be using. And it's all hosted over on github.com. I mean, you can see that's the URL up there. That's where I got the URL to connect to. You can see that, that ends in .git. I paste that in here. And you'll be amused to find out that it actually, well, it should actually know that it's looking for the Jenkins file. So it says, okay, hopefully I'll find a file named Jenkins file in there. And if that's not what it is, then specify something other than that. You also notice master here, uh, we're changing the name of the default branch in Git hub and Git in the future to main instead of master. So just be careful. Sometimes uh, that might be master. You might not have master in your repository. So. Anyways, that's all I have to do here in order to get Jenkins to read that Jenkins file and follow the instruction which says uh, download a container image that has Maven 3.3 in it and compile the code. So I click apply, I click save again, then I go over here and I click build now to actually trigger this thing. And I think it's going to take a while because it's going to have to download that container and do the compilation. I can watch it as it goes by uh, clicking on the number one there. I should get an option to look at the console output, which I will. And this will print out as it's going. As you can see, you get the little status icon there. But it looks like it's found that Jenkins file. It has pulled from my rock, paper, scissors repository. And now it looks like it's pulling from library slash Maven, that Maven 333 Docker image. And there we go. It looks like the whole thing ran and it was a build success. So notice it says that it was successful. Also notice that it says it's taken some artifacts and thrown them into a local workspace folder. So it's telling us that it not only did its build, but it actually saved a few files, something called rashambo.war onto my local system. I'll see if I can find that in just a moment. But I want to take a look at some of the stuff that went on here. I believe that I asked for a Maven dash version to be printed out. Boy, there's a lot of a lot of logging going on here, but I'll see if I can find that version call. Yeah, there it is there. So notice it used uh, Maven 333 to do the compilation. It even says that uh, it uses JDK 1.8.091 on an AMD system. And again, I just want to prove to you, this is not running on my local machine because uh, my local machine doesn't have Maven. And even if I ask for the Java version, you can see that I've got 1.8.0275. And this has got 8091. And you can see that I'm not on an AMD machine. I've actually got a, a Xeon processor here. So this is all done on that container, not on my not on my local machine. Well, I guess the container running on my local machine, but you understand what I mean. Um, so that's all pretty cool. So now we've actually got Docker doing this build and I didn't have to install Maven or anything like that on my local machine. Now, one other thing it does say is it says that it's got this rashambo.war file and it's var lib Jenkins workspace. I'm gonna actually see if I can find that. So I'll go over here and other locations, computer, var lib 
Jenkins workspace and I can come over here and what workspace is it? It's the Docker Jenkins Gitto. That's a, a long name, but you can see it right there. Actually, it was the other folder, the first one there. And you can see in this target folder, there's that Rashambo.war file. So that's actually the artifact that was generated from the container-based build actually taken out of the container and put onto my local file system. So I can now work with it inside of my local Ubuntu instance. And uh, yeah, I'll take it back to Jenkins here. There's the build that ran, ran and there's that Jenkins file once again, pull from that Docker image. And that's how easy it is to get Docker, Jenkins and Git to integrate together on Ubuntu 20. And there you go, that's how easy it is to integrate Jenkins with Docker. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Docker, Jenkins, DevOps, enterprise software development in general, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.